Hey, it's Adam with Tech Dive AV Club. We're in Vegas Pro 19 today, and we're gonna talk about all the new features that Vegas has released in this version. As we'll cover later, there are two new features which only come with the Vegas 365 version, while the rest of the features come with both versions. So at the end, I'll cover these two features, how freaking cool they are, and why that they need to be on more of a subscription model. It'll make sense when we get there, I promise. But for now, let's get started. First thing I think that's going to get a lot of people excited, especially in the professional industry, and even in the non-professional industry, as more and more prosumer level cameras are using these codecs. We have official ProRes. It did in the latter version of 18 have ProRes, but now it also has ProRes RAW, which is the version of ProRes that comes off some camera types. It is a very, very, very powerful codec there. And we got bra. I mean, Blackmagic RAW. We have the new Blackmagic RAW. So for those of you filming with Blackmagic cameras or editing clients' footage with Blackmagic cameras, Vegas takes it natively now. The first thing you'll notice about Vegas 19 is a more black matte color and a little bit more updated UI, little features and buttons and things that are just better suited for modernity. So the user interface just got kind of a nice face uplift in this version. The UI update is best seen in the color grading panel. And one of the biggest additions to this is the range limited color wheels. Now you can also have LUT presets for both the camera LUT and the look LUTs. As another nice addition, you can now break up the color curves to have their own individual charts. As Vegas added artificial intelligence in the last version, they've went back and improved their colorization models and they've added improved style transfer models and more presets for those as well. Also adding an arbitrary style transfer. Sometimes you need to zoom in to get a better cut. Now you can upscale when you zoom to reduce the degrading. Also a new scene edit and detection which can automatically detect scene changes. For HDR work, meaning high dynamic range work, there is open color IO 2.0 support where Vegas has been supporting open color IO but it's up to the newer version. Hardware encoding for HDR presets. There has been improvements to the pre-rendering process and dynamic RAM preview improvements, including a little slider which helps you decide how much RAM you can uh, dedicate to it and more of a suggestion about where to start. There's also a Vegas Hub Explorer, so if you've got any of your footage stored in the Vegas Hub, you can actually access that in Vegas itself by logging in to the Vegas Hub in Vegas. Now the project notes are nifty. I thought they were super cool when they added them back in 18, but they're actually much, much more useful now as I found myself thinking, man, it'd be nice if I had a little time code note where that time code was. Now you can set a detailed note that'll tell you also when it made the note. You can change the color of the note and you can also set a time code that goes with the note and do some other time code jumping features that help the notes become a useful way to pass information between yourself and your future self or you and another editor. Now you can also import Mocha motion tracking into Vegas's motion tracking panel. And did I forget to mention adjustment tracks? A feature people have long asked for is for Vegas to have adjustment tracks. And while Vegas has had very, very similar concepts and things that can really do similar items to adjustment tracks, it just didn't have a workflow that was familiar to people who were used to adjustment tracks in other software. Well, now it does. It has adjustment tracks. So now there's still, you still have the nine other ways to skin that cat, but there's also adjustment tracks, which work great. You just throw on a track, put on an effect or whatever you need to on that track and then you can adjust the envelopes of that track to fade in or fade out and how much that track overlapping affects the tracks underneath it. All right, this is where it gets kind of nuts because we're about to talk about Vegas 365 versus the standard version. Everything I've covered up to this point is covered in the new version of Vegas which is a nice new pile of features to get for sure. But something, a couple of things that really blew my mind are in the Vegas 365 version. Now these things, they need an ongoing connection to maintain these features. And let me just talk about them and you'll see why they need to be in the Vegas 365 world. You now have access to stock footage. 
when you're getting Vegas 365, you're also getting a stock footage subscription. And you can access all of that through the Vegas Hub Explorer. So you now have stock footage through Vegas. It's just it's just nuts. You actually can just grab any footage you want if you have Vegas 365 through the stock footage. And it's right there while you're editing. You don't have to go anywhere else. You just open it up, type in what you want, and it'll download it real fast and put it right there in your Hub Explorer. See, essentially, you don't have to go hunting for stock footage anymore. It's just there. If you're currently have a subscription to a stock footage site, you can now wrap up that subscription. And the stock footage is great. It already comes with so many things from story blocks. So I can tell you one reason I'm really excited about the stock footage is because I've actually needed stock footage for a lot of different tutorials and things I wanted, but I've not been able to drop the money on subscribing to stock footage sites. So now I don't have to. So you're going to see an improvement in a lot of these tutorials because I'll be able to just start with top quality footage right from the get go. I no longer have to limit everything to when I have time to film. I can also just add stock footage to it to help increase the amount of variety you see on this channel. And this last one is just, just mind-numbingly awesome. It is text-to-speech. So you can now take text and turn it into speech. You can literally create little boxes of a perfect voiceover. And this is what I mean when I say Vegas talks. Wow. Look at all of that money. That's money right there. 365 text-to-speech is awesome because you can just type in anything you need or copy-paste from a script or, you know, just it just it's text. You can, like, take a transcript that's already been transcribed from your video and put it in here. Voices, you can change the voice and you can change the language. Nuts! It'll translate the text for you, which is already one kind of awesome, but then it will read that text for you with a native speaking language. It's just amazing. Wow. Now you can reach broader audiences on YouTube or make quick work of things that used to take a long, long time. Find someone who speaks Spanish to do the voiceover or just have Spanish captions. You can have the Spanish captions and a Spanish voiceover reading it perfectly. It's just, it just makes sense, right? Right, right. It just makes sense. Yes. And it's right here in Vegas. One thing we're going to be doing on this channel is taking all these new features and breaking them down in more detail in videos to come. If you decide to purchase or upgrade the software, if you do so through my affiliates link in the description, that helps out this channel a ton. Also, I'll have introductions for new editors, a more complete overview of the entire software, and much, much, much more. So thank you for watching. Like if this video helped you out. Subscribe if you're looking for more videos like this one, and I will see you next time.